Alrighty, well last week on Streets Corner, we first showed you a program designed to teach wounded warriors how to scuba dive. Today we follow those divers as they put their bodies and minds to the test on Streets Corner. Mark Hennesser lies unresponsive underwater. With no time to lose, wounded warrior Michael McAuliffe secures Mark's regulator, grabs him by the vest, and drags him to the surface. Just like Mark has been training adaptive divers to do for the last nine years. The last time I actually really counted, uh, we we're somewhere around six, 600 guys and gals, which is huge. They're doing everything that an able-bodied diver does only they're doing it in spite of their physical disability. Here at the Meadows Center in San Marcos, Mark can help those guys and gals complete their open water tests, whether it's by loading Michael in with this adaptive lift or letting Anna Mencius try a slightly more acrobatic entry. For me, there's always nerves about testing. I get like really anxious for exams and things like that. But once they get beneath the surface, those nerves disappear as does the frustration of their disabilities. It's pretty awesome. You know, walking, I still have a lot of trouble with but swimming. I don't really have any problem doing it underwater, so it's, it's something that, you know, makes me feel unaffected by my injury. I don't have to focus on, you know, my gait and am I doing it right. None of that is even a thought because, because you know, water is perfect. Water is, um, you don't fall in the water. I think it's because of the, the feeling of independence and just being free. Free to be themselves, swim through hoops, chase fish, or be chased by them. I kind of felt like, like, like literally, like the little mermaid. Like when she's, she's singing and then all the fish come around and like talk to her and stuff. That's kind of what it felt like. And now that she's passed her test, this little mermaid can't wait for her next under the sea adventure. Now, I won't be able to chase the fish down there, but just to see the fish that are down there, I'm excited about doing that. Anna, Michael, and the rest of the divers will head next to Florida later this month for their very first ocean dive, courtesy of Red River Rats, Dugan Diving, and a host of other sponsors. Congrats to all the adaptive divers for passing their finals. If you've got a seaworthy story idea for Streets Corner, you can send it to me on Twitter at Streets Corner or at Facebook.com slash Streets Corner. JT Street, Fox News at 9.